Hello, and thank you for joining us in the Think Tank today. And I'm Pastor Devin. You know, in the Christian story, there's a lot of characters in the story. And three, and there's a bunch of them called the wise men. Most people think there were three wise men. Actually, the Bible doesn't say how many there were. And, and they come uh, to see Jesus. But here's the interesting thing. They're not there at the nativity. They, they, they weren't there at Jesus' birth. We know in Matthew chapter 2 that they came after Jesus was born. And we know that later on that Herod, after he visits with the wise men, that uh, he goes and kills all the babies to and under in Jerusalem in order to make sure he gets rid of Jesus. Uh, so we know somewhere between a year and a half to two years is when the wise men show up. Now, what's that tell us about the story? Now, the star, they said when they started coming, they, they saw the star again. They rejoiced that they saw the star again. Well, when they first see the star, when Jesus was born. So these people, they said they were, these wise men were studying uh, scriptures. They knew what was going on. Uh, they had known about this Messiah was going to be born. But then when they first see the star, years, uh, a couple years before, they look at it and they're like, oh, there's that star I've been looking for. Maybe they're asking some questions. It, is it real? Do, do we have to go to the, see this child? And if we do go, do, do we got to bring gifts and if we do, how much? I mean, these are questions that I think we ask today as Christians, right? Don't we ask, you know, all these things, is Jesus really real? Do I really have to go? Do I really, you know, yeah, an answer to all of those is yes. Now, the wise men, they kind of are debating this over a period of time. And sometimes that's what happens to us today, right? People think about things and maybe tend to overthink things and that. But the point of the story is eventually the wise men decided to finally go see Jesus. And, and, and when they get there, they, they had an experience like you wouldn't believe. And we know it was a great experience because on the way home, an angel talks to them and warns them to go in a different direction. Boy, they, they had an experience. They got to talk with an angel. Wow, what an amazing thing that happened in their lives. But here's the thing. You might have somebody in your life that you love dearly but doesn't know Jesus. You might have somebody, maybe it's a family member, maybe it's a co-worker, maybe it's even someone you don't like because, you know, if they knew Jesus, it might not be so mean to me. I get that. We all have those people in our lives. But here's the thing that you gotta understand, the point of the wise men, they finally went, which means it's never too late for anyone to come to know Jesus. And here's the other thing, but I talk to these people all the time, they keep saying no, they make fun of me, they do this and that, I get that. But here's the great thing about the gospel, the good news of Jesus, they can say no to you a million times, but it only takes one moment to change their life, one yes, to change their entire destiny for all of eternity. Isn't that great? Aren't you glad that God had a bunch of moments in your life and you finally said yes to Jesus? What an amazing thing. And why does God say one yes makes all the difference? Well, you know why. Because Jesus loves you. I love you. And you are absolutely awesome.